I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Projects, episode 13. I'd like to start off this week with a massive, massive thank you for everyone who wished me happy birthday. I enjoyed my week off and now I'm refreshed and ready for it. This week we'll be doing a hard landscaping job and it's a two week job so it's fairly big. Correcting someone's work and slabbing, pagoda and a bit of turfing. But while we've got you over here, let's have a look at the swans. Can any of you guys notice something there? We've got a little signet. So yeah. Got a little signet there, and she's still sitting on the rest of the eggs. So let's leave them to it. Let's get this van loaded up with all the tools we need for this job. So there we have it, guys. The van is getting loaded. I want to say a massive, massive thank you for everyone watching the video that we just released. You guys seem to be liking it, and I set a little challenge of 2,000 likes in the first 48 hours we're coming up to i think the 23rd hour and we are on 1600 likes thank you so much guys that really does mean the world to us really do appreciate you guys liking them videos so on the topic of likes let's aim for 1000 likes in the first 12 hours i know it's a hard one guys I know it's a hard one, but I believe in you and I think we can do it. You also seem to like the hit and miss style fencing that me and Big J installed as well, the second job of last week. It is a nice one. It's probably my favorite panels as well. And when I move house again next year, I think me and the Mrs. Charlie are gonna have that style panel as well. Anyway, last few bits to go on the van. Let's crack on so we can start this job. So that's pretty much it for all the tools, guys. Grabbing the ratchet strap for the safety. But we've got one more tool to go on the wagon. Before it comes around the corner, I want all of you to have a guess. You've not got to put it in the comments, but have a guess on what this tool is. And I'll show you right now. Here we have it, the easy loader. Who says we're lazy? <laughs> yes, we have got one and we've had one for ages, but you can't use it on every job. So Steve has got an easy day today. When I heard that start up, I had this grin on. This Man grin was up there. This grin you see now is exactly what I had. Not used this in a long time. Today's the day. We'll show you how we use it as well, guys, if you've never seen one before. But let's get that on the back of the van and get to the job. So we've arrived, guys. First things first, get the sheets and the boards down to make sure we do not damage this driveway. We do not want to be damaging this driveway to so take in extra precaution where needed. So I've took a lot of the tools around now. I've just got to take the breaker, the whack off, the power barrel and the micro digger. And hopefully, hopefully guys, we can get it down the alleyway to the house. It looks a little bit tighter than we would like, but we'll find out once we get these tools off. So there's all the tools off guys. This is also the alleyway that I was on about guys. It's perfect here, but you see where that brick pillar pulls out and the gate? Don't know if that's a little bit too tight for the power barrel, but we're gonna find out pretty soon. Let's go see if it fits.
One power barrel in, digger's turn. Question is, will the digger fit now? I'm gonna say a definite yes. That's the point in having the micro digger. Can you believe that guy called his laser a couple of videos back? <laughs> Crazy. So we'll get that digger in and then we'll explain what's happening on this job. Digger and the power barrel in the garden. So instead of using those barrows, I'm gonna be able to use that. And that's a bonus. Also, I just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone that's congratulated me on the module four pass. Really does mean a lot, guys. I've got my test at the end of this month. So all being well, I'll pass that and I'll be driving Big Red in July. So then, Dad, what does this job entail? We're uplifting this patio because we believe it's been dotted and dabbed. Dot and dabbed. <laughs> Dot and dab. So it sounds a little bit hollow. Plus, the customer wants me to fill the joints in, but obviously, he just wants redoing. It's not the best. And we're going to go for the modern design, like we did on that other patio, with straight lines. We're extending this patio out all the way, and we're going to be bringing it round here. A little bit wider, this lady's got a log store. Take that old concrete out, take it down to there where the dog is in the corner. Gonna be a nice big odor and a patio under there. This side, we're taking away this old concrete because it goes nowhere. And we're gonna be extending the grass over to the fence for a bit more vegetation. In the alleyway, there's gonna be a slight step down off the patio. And then all this path's going to be resin. So we're going to prime that and resin straight over. We're going to dig all this channel out here where it's exposed and we're going to fill that in with concrete and resin that over. Somewhere here, or a bit further back, there's going to be a nice contemporary gate with the slats going that way. And to match where this old iron gate is, we're going to have a small gate with the same kind of style so the dog can see through just in case he sees the postman. So let's get cracking, Steve. You heard it there, guys. Let's get cracking. Let's see what's underneath this patio. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Just as we suspected, dot and dab. Not ideal, but the builder did it. I bet they don't know. We're hard landscapers, not builders, so we stick to what we know. But yeah, these should be on a full bed with a slurry on the back. It's good because obviously they come up nice and easy and hasn't damaged them. But obviously it's not what the customer wants. So let's do it properly. Right, I'll just explain to you what dot and dab means. Full bed in castle. Dot and dab basically is this. So you dot, you slab down. Many, many moons ago that was a way to do it because there wasn't a lot of Indian stone and stuff like that about when I was uh, laying slabs. So the concrete slabs, you used to be able to dot and dab them. Closed joints, didn't worry about this jointed stuff and nothing else. But now you have to do it on full bed. The reason being, the water penetrates these slabs, goes through here on a poppy slab because it'll freeze in here. So you, you lay it on a full bed now. Plus, with this jointing compound, you don't use loads of it. So your jointing compound just goes into there. That's dot and dab. And then the one over there, which we've lifted, is castle. You guys might call them something different, but this is what I've, I've learned over the years. That's what we call it. So castle is where you lay your mortar all the way around the edge. And then you put a dot in the middle and then you put it down. Still not ideal. You're not going to use as much of the jointed stuff because obviously the sides are all filled in, but you're still going to have that frost problem where the water penetrates through, freezes and pops the slab. So there's two different variations on the same patio because two different people laid this patio. But we'll be doing it properly. We'll be doing a full bed. We'll slurry the backs and we'll be using a jointed compound. All right, let's crack on.
there's two different styles of laying slabs. You've got the dot and dabs there and you've got the castle tops there. You can obviously tell the difference on the video, but also as you look at this guys, I bet you can see why the slabs start to rock after a little bit of time. It just doesn't look like there's enough cement there. And that's why we like to do a full bed. Fill out underneath that slab. Well, I just marked out that, but it's a rough, rough idea where the slab's gonna go. So we're extending this little bit here, bringing them out, taking it down there into that patio down there. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pull all this off to start again with the digger and we'll catch up when we've done it. done a little trial hole and there is stone underneath it and there's adequate stone there is membrane underneath it as well i don't know why it's kicked up there we'll cut that off and do that properly so next job is we're going to break this path out take the grass away and shape it all up get it all ready for the slabs steve will put it on time lapse That's pretty much it from me and my dad today guys we'll be back in the morning to continue with this garden maker see you then guys and just before we go guys just to show we always clean up at the end of the day don't matter if we've got two more weeks here clean up every single day see you in the morning guys what's good guys what a beautiful day today even got the shorts on get some sun on these legs eh these pasty white legs Ah, let's see what the swans are doing today. We might have another signet. Here's hoping. And I can't see any signet. Oh, there's a swan round there. We're having some uh, practice swimming. Let's have a look. No, I can't seem to see the signet, but we'll keep you guys updated. And as soon as there's any more babies, we'll let you know, but for now, me and my dad have got a few grabs on, so that's what we're going to concentrate on. So let's get to it, guys. My dad's just put in six ton of roadstone on using the telly truck. Just getting the roadstone from there, getting it on the grab. And then we've just got to deliver that. And then we've got to get a bag of sharp sand with four cement as well. So we're going to crack on loading this up and then we'll show you when we're delivering it, guys. First one of the day, guys, getting this over there just like that on to the next one then guys we've got a six ton of roadstone we've got four ton going there and we've got two ton down there for the main man looker and just like that we've got the four ton there the two ton there and then we've got some stone for our job that we're about to head to right now so we'll see you there guys welcome back took that out yesterday we've got that little tiny piece there and I think there's some underneath this. So we're going to take that out. We're going to take the concrete path out across the way. We're going to get a turf cutter out. Turf cut this turf off, roll it up. Mark out this area where the pagoda is going. We're going to turf cut all this off because we're going to reuse the turf over the other side of the garden where the path used to be. 
the soil as well, the soil will take out, we're going to reuse, upcycle everything, what's the point of bringing it in when it's already here? That'll probably be it for today and then tomorrow we'll either get a bit of slabbing done depending on what the weather's like or we'll set the posts ready for the pagoda. So let's crack on. So we're just cracking on now guys, we've broke that side right there, we're just working our way along there now, but we're going to stick you up for a time lapse so you can see what we're up to. Also, there was someone in the comments on the last video mentioned about living down under in Australia. It's in the winter right there and it was 24 degrees. So they were laughing at us, me and Big J, for saying it was hot when it was 26 degrees. It's not our fault that you guys are upside down and live a little different world to us. We should rain. <laughs> Leaking bucket. Hey, oh, we caught me working. Right, me and Steve has just measured that out. That's the edge of where the pagoda is going to go. This is like a triangular pagoda that the customer wants. One of the posts is going in behind this shrubbery there where we've marked it out. And it's possibly going to have one, two, three, four, I don't know yet, or three posts this end. But from that distance there, this distance there is 4.8. That's a length of the timber. So that's how big it's going to be. We're going to slab underneath here. Like I said earlier, we're going to take this grass off, roll it up and utilise it over there. The topsoil underneath, we're going to utilise over there because that path's gone there. I'll show them the path. When underneath here, the customer's access to bring that out so she can plant these plants back in because she couldn't dig through it. While I was taking this out, there's an old, old post there, so we've took that out and we'll reset that gravel board and panel. Path we broke out yesterday, which is going to be a path again, but with Indian stone. We're going to hard core this up, so Steve, we've got a nice path to run up and down on when we start digging this. So we'll get this hard core up, and we'll see you when we've done it. Just having half an hour's break, guys, filming the Q&A that hopefully you have watched on Wednesday. If not, pause this video, open a new tab, go and watch that video, like that video, Come back to this video, like this video, and continue watching. We've stoned all that up, that path. And now what we're gonna do, because there's a lot of sand in this, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna stick my bucket on, which I had made, riddle bucket. Riddle it out, get the big chunks of concrete out, and the sand, we're just gonna bed the sand down over there where we took the concrete out. And then topsoil over the top of that because it just it seems pointless to keep on building it up when we just bind it down there i don't know how you guys would do it but it seems just a waste it does really seem like a waste when it's just sand i mean we can't use it for slabbing because it's not right so i'm just going to riddle it out over there and we're going to dump the big stuff and get rid of that all right so we better get cracking on then guys once we've done that we'll catch up again and show you what it looks like and if you didn't know what my dad was on about, this is what we mean, guys. You pick up a scoop, you give it a little shake, you let the sand fall out, you put the stones in there. As simple as that, guys. I'll take this onto the front, tip it onto the boards, and then my dad will pick it up with a grab after. So we'll crack on, getting this pile done, and we'll catch up after that. And that's pretty much it for that, guys. Couple piles of sand. I'll just show you what I was tipping out. And there's all the little bits of concrete, guys. Pretty much these are just what the slabs were laying on. 
basically my dad will pick that up using the grab we're coming to the end of the day guys and as always we will clean that driveway because you should know by now always leave the site tidy does not matter if you'll be here first thing in the morning the customer does not want to come home from work trampling soil mud sand all up in their house they want that nice and clean so if you're there for one day or if you're there for one month a tidy site goes a long way guys this job is coming along nicely though guys ripped up all of the old slabs i say old the pretty new they were just laid incorrectly broke all of this concrete today it's quite a long expanse really filled all that in with hardcore set where the pagoda is going with the spray it's coming along nice guys it's coming along nice remember this one's roughly around about a two week job so i'm hopefully you're not expecting everything to be done in the first few parts of this video because that ain't going to be happening tomorrow there's a new guy joining so he's going to jump on this job with me and my dad first thing in the morning i think me and the new guy taff we're going to turf cut all of this out and all of that out from underneath the pagoda roll those up into little jam roly polies because we're going to be reusing that turf there's nothing wrong with the turf so it seems pointless to buy new when we can just reuse this and the reason that we are reusing that turf is because the customer is eventually going to have all of this lawn re-turfed so there's no point putting a fresh bit in there when it's just going to come up eventually anyway I spoke to the customer and they're happy for us to reuse this turf once we've done that guys is a little bit of concrete just underneath there so we're going to break that out as well once we've done that those piles of sand that i've just shown you that's going to go all the way down there before we put the topsoil on and then put that older turf right there as well but that is pretty much it for today guys we hope you've been enjoying this video if so remember to smash that like button subscribe if you're brand new and we shall see you in the morning, bright and early, for another part of this video. See you in the morning, guys. And here we are, guys, back again. It is Wednesday morning. Swans are right there. Little baby sitting next to the mum, I assume. Daddy right there. Not sure when we'll see the other signets. My dad's out doing a few grabs right now, so as he's doing that, the new man at D&J, we're loading up the other van to go to the job take a few tools take the mix off and then as soon as we get there guys we'll show you what we're up to so here we are guys we've been busy we have been busy indeed we've made a few jam roly polies from the grass there and the grass over there where the pagoda's going we've used some of the sand that these slabs were laid on and just put it in here and we've wacker plated this as well and now the plan is for me and taff to start taking some of the soil off the back of the van. So we're just gonna sprinkle the soil onto here now and then we're pretty much ready to start relaying this turf because we really need to get this turf down as soon as possible because with the weather, it's probably 20 plus degrees already. We don't want these jam roly polies drying out. So as soon as we get them down, we'll get some water on them and hopefully they'll reattach themselves to the ground. So we're gonna crack on with that and I'll update you once the soil's done. Top soiled it now, guys. Just gonna top up where necessary. Gonna start laying the turf and see what she looks like. So here we have it then, guys. We've just put the turf in, just giving it a water now, because as you can probably tell by the sky, it is absolutely roasting. So hopefully, hopefully this turf takes the customer's gonna have to keep dousing this in water, a lot of water as well. With the weather that we're having, this is gonna need water in a lot. I think it's roughly around about 24, 25 degrees, guys, now as well. So it is a hot one. You guys down in Australia were moaning, saying that this is winter weather for you guys, but this is hot here in the UK. <laughs> Just waiting on my dad now then, guys. I think we'll have something to eat when he gets here, a little break again. Keep the fluids inside. And then I think we're going to crack on with the pagoda, dig the first post, I think anyway, dig a little bit of soil out and get ready to hardcore because that is having slabs as well, guys. Afternoon, straight into dinner time. Once we've had my dinner, I'll show you what we're going to do. Right, well, I've been gone and lads have done the turfing over there, cut all the turf off and 
doing this. So what we're going to do now is dig everything down to levels, get stoned up. Stevie's going to go around on the grab, grab everything, tap rings around with a power barrow. Let's get this job looking somewhere right so we can get slabbing. So that's more of that dug out guys. And now it's time to dig out for the pagoda. I definitely feel like I'm getting better on the grub, guys. What do you think? Still a bit more practice? Maybe a little. This job's coming along nicely now, though, guys. Just taking out all of this soil now for the pagoda. I think we'll start to get these posts in the ground using those spikes to double bag around those spikes as well. It's coming on, though. Patio is going to be all under here. Nice little curve round maybe curve round here not too sure if we're going to curve this one or keep it at a 90 degree angle patio running all the way down here into a nice curve round to the original slabbed area it's quite a bit of slabbing guys but i think it's gonna look bang on once this job is completed especially when that pagoda is standing nice and tall as well so we're gonna crack on guys get a little bit more done don't want to show you too much of us taking soil, me picking it up, taking more soil and then me picking it up again. Don't want to get too repetitive for you guys. So I'm going to put you down and we'll crack on. And remember, if you're enjoying this video, why not smash that like button? Cost you guys absolutely nothing. And if you're brand new around here, consider subscribing. And we'll see you soon, guys. Here we go, guys. It's coming along quite nicely. It's a hot one today, guys. And the customers brought us some Snickers ice creams. We very much appreciate it on a day like this. A little bit more soil to come out, a little bit more stone to get in there. So we better crack on. Right, that's all completed. We're gonna get the laser level out and work some levels and see where we're at. But it's taking shape now. Time is 10 to 4, so we've got like half hour. So I think we'll concentrate on cleaning the front up while I'm sorting some levels out, ready for tomorrow. Just before we go and tidy up out front, guys, we're just having a few tests of how we're going to do this pagoda because it's going to be a triangle shape that the customer has asked for. There's a white spray painted dot at the end of this timber. That's pretty much the point of the triangle. So that's going to run straight down here somewhere. We're thinking of having a beam straight across the front to create that triangle effect. This one will look nice when it's done because Dean Jay's done it. So just going to go and start tidying up the front now, guys, because you should know by now. It doesn't matter if you're on the job for one day or one month. We still leave it tidy every single day. That's a day done for Dean Jay. Just over by the swans. I don't know where the signet's gone. But we'll check back in the morning. See you in the morning, guys. What a crazy morning today, guys. It's been absolutely mental. It really has. I said we'd update you on the swans in the morning, so let's have a look. There's a swan, a couple of duckies, and the other swan. Hey, three duckies. I'm sure the little signets in there somewhere. 
I'm just waiting on my dad and Taft to come back because they're currently out in the grab. I'm just filling up a couple bags of sharp sand, a couple bags of building sand, and then I'm gonna go through the yard to get some cement because I think we may be laying some slabs today. And if we are, you'll see it guys. This one is gonna look very, very nice. Quite a big area, but gonna look nice. So I'm gonna fill these bags and get cracking. When I said we're always stopped with wood guys, I never lie. Look at all these panels, all ready for you lovely customers. Always stopped. Just marking out where the posts are gonna be going now. As my dad and Taff continue digging about there for the slabs, I'm gonna start digging a hole for the first post right there. And the second one roughly around about there. We'll have a third one in the corner and then we will decide if we're gonna have another post somewhere centralized to see if it needs that support. So that's where the first hole is gonna be dug and I'm gonna crack on with that now, guys. One hole, two holes, three holes. They're also quite deep as well, guys. I'll just show you. That, that is roughly around about 28 inches. Quite a deep hole. We're also using two bags of post fix per hole. So as you've seen guys, my dad's just finding the levels using the laser level. Just gonna give this a final rake out, get the levels a little bit more perfect. And then we'll crack on with the day and keep you guys updated. But at least we've got the holes dug for the pagoda. Get a final few levels for this. And then we'll start seeing some real progress on this job. So then guys, I've got two posts up whilst I've been out on the front grabbing. Looks good already guys. My dad and Taff are just measuring out to find out exactly where that middle beam would go for that post right in the corner to finish off that triangle for the pagoda. This is definitely gonna look very nice with the pagoda, the patio, and then all of the shrubbery around. Nice bit of feature. Bang on. And as my dad says, bang on. Last post going in now, guys. Bit of post fix, two bags per hole surrounding the spike, just like we are with the other ones. It's coming along. It's coming along nicely. The pagoda frame as in posts are all ready now, just letting them set. So whilst that concrete sets over there, we're gonna start digging out this part here where the old turf used to be that we put over there. Just gonna dig this down a little deeper and then use some of the stone that's a little bit high over there and drag that over here. So as my dad does that and Taft does that, I'll be on the grab putting it on the back of the wagon and I'll show you guys some raw clips of me doing that now. I like doing ones like this because it ain't easy. I like the hard ones because it's more of a challenge. It makes me have to think a little bit more when I'm using the grab. I always do the easy ones in the practice time. And then when I obviously pass my HGV and go out and do a proper grab for real, and it's a difficult one, I not have the skill set because I've not practiced it enough. These difficult ones right now are gonna help me in the future. And I say it's difficult because obviously it's a press creek drive, so I'm trying to be as careful as I can 
and if I grab it sideways like this these plastics like to lift up so I'm grabbing it long ways like that that's why I'm having the bucket a little bit closed because of obviously these bags just thought I'd explain guys but I think I'm doing all right so far just got a few more to grab guys so I'm gonna crack on with that and we'll catch up after. so then guys we're just getting the final levels now scraping some of that a little bit down here as you can see we've started that already going to level this off i think tomorrow what we'll do we'll bring around about a ton worth of hardcore from the yard and then tip this in when needed and if needed because i think me and taff are going to start the slabbing tomorrow from there working in rows that modern design that we like guys taff is just breaking up some concrete from around that drain pipe now because that needs to go down a little bit so Taff's going to crack on with that. I'm going to crack on scraping this down and then we'll catch up a little bit later, guys. Oh, and my dad's not here because he's just had to nip out on the grub, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. We're really happy with the levels now, guys. So Taff's just whack a plate in that. And once he's whacked that, he's going to work his way down the pathway. Even though it's already been whacked, he's just going to work his way down the pathway and whack off underneath where the pagoda is going to be. I cannot wait to see this one up. I think that is going to look amazing. As you can see, guys, just setting up a few string lines so that we can start slabbing in the morning. Little tip, they're leaving line pins out. Pop bottle on it so the customer don't fall over. And on that note, guys, We'll see you in the morning. And we're back, guys. Looks like it's going to be a nice sunny day. We've got a little bit of a breeze today as well, so that may cool us down a little. Me and Taff are going to concentrate on the first few rows of slabs today until my dad gets here. He's been off in the grab early this morning to pick up some more steels for the concrete lads for their posts and gravel boards. So, yeah, can't wait to get the first few slabs down in this garden starting in that corner right there so i'm going to crack on that i'm going to get the mixes on for taff and let's see what she's looking like so it's mixing time i'm not even going to tell you guys what mix we use for the slabs i want you guys to tell me if you're a dedicated fan and you've been watching our videos for a while now especially our slabbing ones tell us in the comments what mix we use for slabbing and the reason why so i'll continue with this mix guys and then i'll go around the back and show you what taff's done already so here's taff working his magic laying the first rows of slabs what we're going to do guys is going to work all the way to the end of the house this slab area that we're standing in is actually going to go to the fence but we're not going to slab that bit just yet as you guys probably know i've got to be back and forth down here with the wheelbarrow so obviously I can't walk over fresh slabs. So we're gonna to go to the edge of that green line until the slabs that are here are fully set and I'm able to walk over with the wheelbarrow in a couple of days time. And with it being Friday now, we might get a couple rows in today. We'll see what we can do. But over the weekend, they will fully set. And then on Monday, when we come back, I will be able to run that wheelbarrow straight over those slabs. And then we'll be able to continue going all the way to the edge. So we're gonna crack on guys. And I'll show you what it's looking like when this first row is fully completed. That's coming along very nice there. Taff's doing a great job with these slabs. They look really, really nice, guys. Probably be able to get a couple more in before Taff's got a shoot to get his second vaccination so he can be all immune and get himself on holiday. What are you thinking, guys? Not looking too bad? I don't think so. So then guys, I've just put another mix on for Taff round back. That one's pretty much ready. Just gonna fill this barrel, take that round the back for Taff. And then I've got to shoot off because I've got a bunch of fencing quotes. My dad is on his way back now, so he's gonna join Taff for a few hours. And then like I said earlier, Taff's got to shoot off to get his second dose of that vaccine. So the next clips you guys see will be from my dad. And if I don't see you, for the rest of this week's video. I hope you've had a good weekend, guys, and I will see you next week. Peace. Me and Taft's finished now. I can see we've made some progress. 
Tad's going to go and have his uh, injection <laughs> if he's fully vaccinated. I'm going to go back to the yard and deliver three ton of sharp sand to Kimberley. Finish my day off. That's a nice little free bag dropped off at the sharp sand. One of our neighbours and neighbouring units to us. So let's get back to the yard now. Finish our day off. Probably jump in with the lads, give them an hand. Then let's get out. Guess who's back, baby? I've come back from all the quotes, guys. We're almost at the end of the day. It's half past four now. A dad is just grabbing a little bit of this pile and pushing it back, making us a little bit more room. I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed this week's video. I told you guys it'd be a little bit of a slower one because it's a bigger job. You can't get everything done in that one week. So hopefully you've still enjoyed it, guys. But trust me when I say next week, it's gonna be a great video. You're gonna see all the slabs. You're going to see the pagoda done. You're going to see some fencing installed by me and Big J. Next week's going to be a banging video, but I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If so, remember to like this video. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I've still got to show you the swans, show you what they're up to. But first, my dad's got some grabbing to do. We've got quite a man going on here. Move it up a little bit, create a bit more space. And when the time's right, we'll start taking this away maybe even screen some of this get all the hardcore so we can crush that down and maybe some of this to get some topsoil just standing on these uh these block molds we're not allowed to call them you know what and i'm just having a look and thinking you know what we've got loads these bays are coming along nicely i think what my dad's doing is putting another couple rows here so we can have it a little bit higher so we can push these mines quite a lot up I think they're going to return all the way down here, about this height, and then obviously all the way to the end where the grab is. We can't go out any further than this. I don't know if you guys can see, that one's a little bit further out than this one. We can't go any further with this one because we've got the hardcore bay there and the wagons have to reverse in like this to tip. And obviously we've got our mud mountain right here. As my dad's grabbing, I'm just getting out anything that we don't want, like that plastic bag, this tum bag here. Once he's unearthed that one, I'll get rid of that tum bag as well. I'll show you the swans, guys, very soon. I said I'd update you guys on the swans. And there she is. She stood up yesterday and there was five more eggs. I have no idea where the little signet and the other swan are, but they're all bar. And I've just noticed a few ducks down there as well. I don't know if you can see them, guys. You're going to be seeing a lot more of Big J Jizzle in next week's videos, guys. We've got three fencing jobs on, so you're going to see a lot more of Big J. Because I know there's a lot of Big J supporters out there. Let's go find my dad. So here he is, guys. You've been skiving. I've not been skiving. I've been busy. <laughs> it's payday. Everyone gets paid on a Friday, so I have to do wages. So I haven't been skiving, guys. Don't you worry about that. Your boy does not sky. Right, that's a wrap for me and Steve today. We'll catch you again tomorrow. But tomorrow is Saturday. Yes, I'm getting Stevie in on Saturday. So, see you tomorrow. Morning. It's Saturday morning and me and Stevie's in the grab. What we're we going to be doing today? We've got a load of muck on from last night. We're going to get that tipped off at the tip. On the way back from the tip, we're going to do another grab. Get rid of that. Take the grab back. Pick the blingo up and go and do that pagoda on that job and take you along the ride. Hope you enjoyed today. We're back. We're back on this job. What we're going to be doing here, we're going to be putting this pagoda up, or pagoda, whatever you want to call it. But I think the first job we'll do, we're going to put the tent up and use it as shade. Not for the rain this time, but a bit of shade. Because this garden is absolutely beautiful. I'd love to relax in this garden, but we can't relax, we've got to work, so let's crack on. First things first, let's get my pencil sharpened. What we're doing, we're cutting the 6x2s, we're going to have two 6x2s going across there, bolted through, we can get them to level, but the first job is, just going to take the angles off it. She wants it nice and modern, we normally do like a a scroll for what we're doing this time we're just marking 25 so we're bringing the, the square across when it's at the 25 strike it across 
We're going to cut these off, all four pieces, get them bolted up, and then we'll show you when we're done. So here we go, guys. We've got these bolted in now, double-sided, and straight at the back as well, look. Right there as well. Just before we get too far ahead, we've remembered to pick up the camera. This is pretty much what we're going for. This is what the customers asked for, sort of like a fan, a fan-shaped pagoda. This is what it's like from below. Bearing in mind, none of these are attached yet. We're just setting it out and getting the measurements right. I'll show you from a distance, guys. That's what it's looking like from the distance. You can just see the shadow onto the fence, the sort of style that we're going for. Let me get up high and show you as well. It's a, it's a bit sketchy, guys, but we do everything for YouTube. <laughs> if it's shaking, sorry, guys. This is sort of what it's like <laughs> from, the, from up top. Obviously, like I say as well, guys, the gaps in between, they've, they've not been measured yet, but it's getting there. I tell you what, when this is up and ready, I'm going to get the drone out. We're just going to screw it all together now, get the spacing right, take the angles off on the uh, long beams that go across, and then we'll get you a final picture. But yeah, it's looking really good. I hope the customer's going to be happy with it. I'm going to drag her out here in a minute because she hasn't made us a cup of tea for a while and uh, see if she likes it. I've just sat down, guys, to get the stones out of my boots because it was annoying me. Well, I was having a look at it from this angle, and I think that looks absolutely bang on. Not too shabby. I found it hard to let go The memories keep me together Gotta fight till the end, no pressure, no pressure And I find it hard to say no To the ones who want something better To the ones who now say never Will you be my pleasure? about the finishing touches guys take some pride in your work nothing wrong with taking a bit of pride in the work guys takes a little bit longer a bit more time but that is starting to look nice i think the customer is going to paint it gray as well i'm not too sure there's a lot of gray in this garden and i'm pretty sure that's what she's on about doing it will look nice very very nice Baby signet, guys. A little swan, eh? Crazy what you get on the lean here, guys. That's another week at D and J. Hope you like what you see. If you do, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next week, guys. Mm.